music on, man. Let's start working these moves. Who doesn't like being battered about the head? I saw you do it, Michaela. No, you never. Ask him. I don't need to ask him. Yeah, you do, because I didn't hit him, and he'll say the same. Miss, we're only having a laugh. Don't be Shane. Uh, Shane, wait! Oh, you've upset him. <laughs> is that how you get your kicks, is it? By taking advantage of someone younger and smaller than you? Well, Mr. Clarkson will be having a wee word with you when you get into school. Oh, what's with her? God's sakes, man, Archie Black! Is that Archie Black, you muppet? You've got your room to inside, then. Oh, stand back and see how it's done. Good boy, Shane. Yeah. I think I'm beginning to like you. Yeah, I'll take these. They're yours. Oh, where's Davina? I didn't recognise you with the clothes on. Very funny. Does Davina keep a scorecard, you know? You never know where she's going to pop up next. Oh, look at Lawson's daft four by four. What's he looking for? A herd of lions? Er, uh, pride. Yeah, ego more like. It's pathetic. Spending all that money just to show off. No, er, uh, pride. Collective noun. It's all macho crap. Uh, Defo. Uh, an extension of a certain part of his anatomy, I'd say. Sorry, what's that thing you come to school in, Brad? A skateboard? Hey, his burns twice what mine does. You can't ever go about Lawson's car than drive one yourself. Which is why I'm thinking about selling it. Oh, so someone else can drive it. God, that is so green. Bridget, have I missed an email from Stuart Hordley? No. What, still no word from Stuart? Well, it's a massive project, Eddie, you know, there's all sorts of things involved. Like? I don't know, I'm not a builder. Well, he's still going to let us know what's going on. We don't want to disrupt these kids any more than necessary. Hasn't he submitted some sort of building schedule? Eddie, could you please just stop going on? I'm sorry. No one wants this to run smoothly as much as I do. Beginning to have me doubts about this bloke. I think he might be a bit of a git. After all the support you've given him, he can't even let you know what the plan is. Excuse me, all this support? Yeah, you know. Well, he might not have got this gig if it wasn't for you. Hang on, he got this gig because his bid was best. End of, OK? Yeah, if you say so. 
Right. Even if I've had to call him a hundred times, I'm gonna get an answer out of this man. Well, it would be Michaela White, wouldn't it? She's a vicious little madam. She was really leaning into him. I tried to get to the bottom of it, but Shane just ran off. Yeah, well, Shane Warwick's no altar boy. He looked pretty terrified to me. Right. Well, thanks, Jess. Listen, um, fill out an incident form, and I'll sort it from here, OK? Yeah. You'll get chapter and verse. And, you know, the sooner we don't have to teach cretins like her, the better. Well, why has he missed his start date? I mean, this is getting farcical. Doesn't he understand we have to plan around this? Oh. Six new messages. Yeah, they're all from me. Little matter of a training school you've been paid to build. I've been in a meeting all morning. I've got a subcontractor who's trying to play me off against another developer. I called his bluff and... Well, cut a long story short, the diggers move in tomorrow. About time. That's really great news. We're, we're very glad. Good. Uh, Rachel, I'd like to speak to you about a personal matter, if I may. I'll get back to my day job. Look, I'm really not happy about what transpired between the two of us, and I would like to explain why I did what I did. Well, why don't you start off with a word? Blackmail, Stuart. I understand how you must be feeling, given that you think you compromised yourself. I think. However, I would like the chance to explain myself. You can't refuse me dinner, can you? Morning. Morning. Coffee? Uh, no, thanks. Yeah, I love one. I finished off my application form last night. Ah, fantastic. So you're going for it? Yeah. Do you feel like celebrating? I promised Chloe and make a supper. The new pizza place. Right, OK. I'd love you to come. It's just, well, you know, the girls, it's awkward, isn't it? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll wear a shirt, but I'm right up to my neck just for makeup. <laughs> right. Say, um, 7.30. I'll warn the girls. Sounds positive-ish. Yeah, great. A night of sharing a deep pan pizza with him and the girls. I'll tell you what, they've got them on a string. It's enough to put you off kids for life. Yeah. I've had my fair share of uh, one girl in particular today. Who? Michaela White. All right. Well, I was trying to see the best in the kids, but that one is a right vicious little cow. I've pretty much told her that myself this morning. Bullet? No way, sir. We were just having a laugh. Well, Miss Goreshi says different. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Uh, drop the cheeky tone, Shane. Well, she doesn't. She went crazy and threw Michaela against the car. Miss Goreshi did? Yeah, she did. She never even asked any of us what we were doing. Honest, sir, if I was being bullied, I tell you. OK, so the most important thing we've learnt from our interviews... First impressions. We make our minds up about people pretty much five seconds after we meet them. So, what does that tell us? Paul? Best talk fast, then. <laughs> fast or slow. It's our manner, our gestures. You know, the look on our face in those first few moments. Right, OK. Bolton, pretend Miss Koreshi is someone you've never met before, OK? When she walks in the room, show us how you greet her. What do you mean, like I really would? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yes. Yeah, all right, but you see... <laughs> no, no, hang on, guys, that wasn't bad. It was open, friendly, confident. Now, pretend this woman was the mother of someone that you're going out with, or someone that you've never met before, but you really want to impress. You'd adapt your style, wouldn't you? Make it less excitable, a bit more formal. Paul? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> <laughs> You all right? <laughs> yeah, brief to the point, certainly. Right, uh, why don't Miss Koreshi and I show you what we mean? OK, eye contact. I look the person I'm meeting in the eye, I extend my hand. Good morning. I'm Matt Wilding. How nice to meet you. 
Good morning, Matt. <laughs> Firm grasp. We shake once, none of this. Yeah? All right? And then we let go. Right, you want to give it a crack? Come on. Come on, let me go. Uh, Michaela, why don't you shake hands with Miss Koreshi? Miss Koreshi, uh, can I have a word? See that, sir? All right, settle down. Well, I hope you don't believe him. No, but he did say he saw you throw her against the car. I had to drag her off him. She was beating him up. Everybody knows Michaela's a bully. It's a good job I didn't slap her one. Look, look is, is there any way it could have just been kids messing about? She was forcing his arm through the car window and smacking him around the head. I thought we took bullying seriously in this place. Yes, of course we take it seriously. It's just that Shane's pretty sure that they were just having a laugh. <sighs> no, it was bullying. Pure and simple. I'm not doubting you. It's just with the likes of Michaela and Shane, what am I supposed to do? I'm going to have a word with Michaela. I just wanted to touch base with you before I did. Well, I'll go and get her. I can't even bear to look at her. Morning, Mr. Hordley. Stuart. Hmm. Actually, I'm a bit late. I've been up half the night making phone calls. You know, trying to raise funds for the school from kindly benefactors. Oh, of course, yeah. Anyway, looks like I've got myself one in the flesh now. Oh, come on. It's no secret that you're not short of a bob or two. Well, okay. Hey, don't be embarrassed about it. You should be very proud of yourself. You know what you've achieved. Why do I get the feeling this is leaving somewhere? We are looking for rich folk like yourself to donate funds to Waterloo Road School by way of a cheque. I'm sorry, I don't have my chatbook with me today. Well, as it's you, then a simple promise will suffice. What can I put you down for? Uh, let's say... a thousand pounds? Oh, come on. It's probably not even your weekly entertainment bill. Hardly. Listen, you are Miss Mason's favourite businessman. And I can assure you that she would be very grateful. Oh, well, in that case... Let's make it 2,000. I'm just repaying Miss Mason's generosity. Funny how great minds think alike. <laughs> well, you wanted to see me, and I wanted to see you. Yes. Well, here we are. You go first, then. Um... Well, as you know, I'm a keen observer of staff movements, and uh, I can see that uh, certain members of staff have had their roles in hand. Steph Haydock, for one. Um, mm. And uh, I just... Well, I, I can see the way that you're taking the school. And a certain amount of fluctuation is part and parcel of any dynamic organisation. Well, have you got any anything specific in mind? Well, I just thought that as a senior member of staff, there might be an opportunity for me to contribute to the development of the school. Granny, that is really great to hear. And it's quite a coincidence, because that's exactly why I wanted to see you. Come, mm. come sit down. Come on. Now, a little bird told me that you have got a hidden talent. And I want you to share it with the Lessons for Life group. We want you to teach in ballroom dancing. How did you find out? But you can't be serious. No, ball, ballroom dancing to that lot. It's PE and history rolled into one. Oh, and how does that compare to Madame Haydock's appointment as a financial czar? It doesn't. No, thank you. I'll stick to being head of English. Yeah, well, that is on my to-do list. We're looking at staff restructuring in the next few months. The present structure doesn't fulfil its purpose at all. Lesson six, Grantly. <laughs> but, sir, she just went mental. She threw me against the car. Yeah? Because you provoked her? That's crap. 
Ask Sasha and Andrews, they'll tell you what happened. Well, your mates, aren't they? So they're going to say what you tell them. Bang out of order, sir. I'm not lying. Ask Shane, he'll tell you what she did. <sighs> you might want to wipe those tears. And that innocent smirk on your face. Now get. Let me deal with this. Hi, Bridget. Can you put me through to Rachel, please? Sir, uh, this fraction, the decimal equivalent is 1.52 to three significant figures. And? Well, that's just it. It's outrageous. Just another one of your irritating wind-ups, Brett. The numerator is the CO2 emissions from your car in kilos per year. The denominator is the average household emissions over the same period. Your car emits 1.52 times as much as the average UK household. Can we discuss this another time, please? Do you know there's not one teacher here who comes to school on a bike? Yeah, because if they did, they'd get nicked. Anyway, you're a fine one to talk, jeep boy. Point taken. But my car comes off the road today, forever. What about you? Out. Tom, I think you did exactly the right thing. Well, why didn't you let me have a word with her? No, I'm sure she was overreacting. Tom, got to go. Yeah. Who's done what to you? Cocky little sod, showing off to Mika Granger. Brett Aspinall. Ambush me about me car. Why am I driving a planet boy when I could be flogging round on a push bike? Well, that's the trouble we're teaching. We give them a set of values and before we know it, they're making us live by them. Hey, you're next on the list, believe me. Oh. The new build. Make sure it's a green paragon or they'll have you. That's £2,000 in the kitty. Thanks to Stuart Hordley. 2000 That's very generous. Well, I had to work me magic on him, of course, but that's what you'd expect from a finance director, even one who doesn't have her own office. Who so far has cost more than she's made. It takes a little time to make contacts, Rachel. Talking of which, any word from Claude? Oh, that's why I'm so bleary-eyed. I was on the phone to him last night for over an hour. So if we get a penny for every minute you spend talking to him, we could double everybody's wages. I can't raise money for these capital projects of yours without speaking to people. Well, well, well. Mr. Hordley seems like he's a man out to impress. And your point is? Well, just saying. Now, he might have a bit of a thing for you. No, he doesn't. Well, he might have a bit of a... Don't even go there. Carry on. Hi. Well, what did she see? Uh, Rachel, has she, has she spoken to you? No, Michaela. Uh, right, yeah. Um, look, she's sticking to her story. I don't think we're getting anywhere here. But have you spoke to Sasha and Angie? No, but I mentioned it to Rachel. She might want a word with you. I just think you might be making a mountain out of a mole in there. I mean, don't panic. I hear you're contributing to our lessons for life scheme. In a way that doesn't include racing tips. Uh, I might have known you'd be behind this madness. Something of an expert, I'm told. I'm doing it as a favour. A one-off. God knows where she got the idea from. Well, it pushes all the right buttons for our lessons for life, kids. Poise, discipline, etiquette. All those key qualities we see in you, Grantly, in such abundance. I'm way too rusty to be teaching anybody ballroom dancing techniques. Then buy a tin of Brasso. See you lesson six. I'll need a partner. Then find one. I just can't believe she's going to get off with a scot free. She's a thug and she should be excluded permanently. Yeah, we know that. But unfortunately, we can't accuse the girl without evidence. I flame and saw it. 
Oh, you don't believe me either, do you? I believe that you reacted to something you saw or you thought you saw, but maybe next time, you know, just think before you barge in. I did what anybody else would have done. <sighs> yes, but you're not anybody else, are you? You're a teacher. And you learn with experience. You know, sometimes it's better to take a step back. Oh, <laughs> so now it's all my fault? Don't go getting so defensive. Now, just think about this. You know, maybe your actions have given Michaela the chance she needs to back up her story. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm sick of this. Shane! Can I have a quick one, Shane, please? Are you all right? Yeah, fine. Shane! Come here. What's he done? Why didn't you tell Mr Clarkson the truth? I did! Are they threatening you, Shane? Well, what is it? Nothing! So you tell Mr Clarkson it was all of a joke? Yeah, it was. She was beating you around the head and nearly breaking your arm. Remember that? Junked. See, where they are serious. You persuaded me. Yeah? Quit my conscience. Mm. So you have got one then? <laughs> Proof? Could have got five grand for that. But it is better to have principles and no money than money and no principles. I want Lawson to see this. I want Lawson to do the same thing. Although he might take a bit more persuading. Miss! Shane says to say hello. You might have fooled everyone else, but you haven't fooled me. You're a coward and a liar. And you two choose to hang around with this. She's definitely got in for you. Swing a punch at me. Hey? Don't talk daft. I mean it. Do it! You both saw Koreshi punch me, didn't you? You got a minute? Sure. I've just had a huge vote of confidence from Rachel about the way I dealt with Michaela White this morning. Thanks for all your support. Just, just let it go. Let it go? What did you say to Rachel? Let me guess. Did you use the words overreaction and inexperienced by any chance? No, no, all I said was we can't prove anything. But I told you Michaela's a slippery customer. It's not a reflection on you, I believe you. I've just seen the spiteful wee cow now winding me right up. No, don't let it get to you, OK? She's a wrong one. Simple as that. A wrong one? That sounds like a compliment. Heat the bomb you're like. Uh, I need an interpreter now. Come on, let me get you a cup of tea. I'm sorry, girls, it's just too easy to accuse teachers of assault. Must be some explanation. Yeah, Koresh, you punched me one. So well, obviously, I don't know that. <sighs> Can you believe this? You're like a gang or something sticking up for each other. What do you think this is, a pain? I can see what it is. Well, maybe I should just go straight to the police, then. I did not say that there wasn't going to be an investigation. Yeah, well, there better be. Koreshi should be sat for what she did to me. Any more cheek from you and you're going to the cooler. <sighs> so I get punished for getting hit. Right, you two girls, back to class. You, Michaela, you wait here. Can I have some water, please, miss? No way. Somebody must have told her about my misspent you. Want you, was it? No! Look, why don't you go and ask one of the other women? No. Nah. No, they don't have your elegance, your, uh, uh, your je ne sais quoi. 
My brass neck, you mean. Last year's Friends of Waterloo Road dinner dance, hmm? Didn't I see you tearing up the dance floor with some young chap who'd made it big in IT? <laughs> oh, yeah. As I recall, we were rather good together. Hmm. Repeat the performance with me. <sighs> what music are you using? <laughs> I don't believe it. Jasmine hasn't got it in her to assault a pupil. Well, Shane Watts' his name says she threw Michaela up against a car, right? Maybe I shouldn't say anything. I, I know it was just a throwaway remark. But... Tom, I need to know all the facts. Jasmine did say that she could slap Michaela one. Join the queue, so could I. Well, I saw for myself how angry Jasmine was. Look, we need to investigate this formally. Get some written statements from Michaela and little gang. I'll get them to tell the truth. You will play it by the book. <sighs> They're setting her up. We need to be seen to be fairer than fair on this. It is the best way to protect Jasmine. Tom, I want you to re-interview Shane, yeah? We've got to know that Jasmine saw what she claims she saw. Right. Offer him money. Eddie! And I guess I will call the parents. Oh, I expect they're upstanding members of the community, just like their daughter. You're pushing your luck here, matey. Stephanie, if we are going to perform in front of the knuckle-draggers, let's at least make sure we don't fall on our... Ah. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Step right to shadow, close forward. Step right, step back, and foot change. Twinkle to flip-flop oh, position. Twinkle to what? Oh, look, it's a Viennese Waltz variation. Oh, for crying out loud, why can't we just do that slow, slow, quick, quick, slow thing? Oh, that quick, quick, slow thing is a rhythm. It's a system. It is not a dance. Oh, OK, basic Viennese. What now? Oh, this had better not be for me. Yes. Heavily flame in time. We'll reconvene at lunchtime. Oh, I could hardly wait. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt the fun and games, but I've been given the dubious pleasure of covering your class. Oh. Miss Mason wants you in her office. Why? What does she need me for? Just one question, Jasmine. After we spoke this morning, did you confront Michaela White? Oh, I didn't... I didn't go looking for her, if that's what you mean. But you found her? Well, she was provoking me. So I just said what I thought. I know it was stupid. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's way too late for regrets. Michaela's accusing you of assault. No way. <laughs> There's no way I assaulted her. I cannot begin to tell you how serious this is, Jasmine. Oh, Rachel, please, you've got to believe me. Doesn't matter what I believe, the girl's got a cut on her face. What? Yes, and two witnesses to say they saw you hit her. Oh, she's lying. Her mates are lying. I advise you to talk to your union rep as soon as possible about this. Michaela's dad's coming to see me. We're going to have to institute formal proceedings, Jasmine. And so what's going to happen with me? Well, I hope if you're telling me the truth... F! I don't want to lose you. And I hope to goodness that that doesn't happen. But you have to understand, striking a child is gross professional misconduct. But I didn't hit her! <sighs> Tread carefully, you lot. Because if you're in the business of having it in for Miss Qureshi, trust me, we'll find out. In case you don't know, providing false statements is not only wrong, it's a criminal act. Well, you want us to tell the truth or not, sir? Back to your class.
for having a laugh. What are you going to do, Dad? Get her jailed. Mr. White, I presume. That's right. Dad of the assaulted girl. Alleged assaulted girl. So you to be in class. You haven't been to the school before, have you, Mr. White? I'll take you to the head teacher's office. No, 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 no. Look! When that left toe hits the floor, you should be backing straight down the line of dance. Don't suddenly drop your heel like that. I'll drop you in a minute. That is it. Find yourself another partner. I'm off for a butty. No, Steph. No, 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 no. Look, you're doing great. You've got the natural turn off to a T. And it's a tricky dance to master. Hey, I'm impressed. Honestly. Then why are we teaching it to the likes of Bolton Smiley and Michaela Flamed White? Uh, look, let's get the reverse turn sorted. Right? Now, it's a mirror image of the natural turn with the right interchanged with the left. See the big difference there was on the third step? How are you going to get into school now to have a car? Uh, walk? Cycle? I quite fancy cycling, if you want some company. You mean you wouldn't try and run me off the road? <laughs> God knows what my bike's like. I've not been on it for years, it probably needs repairing or something. Well, I can take a look at it if you like. Come round after school. Yeah, why not? Oh yeah, it would say that, wouldn't they? They're best friends. No, they're not. That's not what Michaela's about. Well, whatever they are, don't worry. Even today, with the whole establishment against the teaching profession, it's still relatively hard to sack a teacher. But Rachel said if they can prove it, she's going to get rid of me. Yeah, well, she'd be daft. You're one of the best teachers this school's got. I wouldn't send my kids to a school where the teachers hit their pupils. Wouldn't you? Why do you think we're in the state we're in? There's not enough hitting. Well, that attitude from her union rep's really going to help. You don't think I did it, do you, Tom? <sighs> you do, don't you? Well, go and spit it out. Everybody else does. No, of course he doesn't. Look, I'm not going to pretend it's going to be easy for you. I talked to Shane again. He's sticking to his guns. I'm sorry. And if the worst comes to the worst, we'll claim it was an accident. No, I'm not lying. Uh, ju just let me do the talking. Yeah, I don't want you incriminating yourself. Well, I hope you're gonna sack her. Well, not until we find out exactly what happened. Have you seen my daughter's face? What do you think happened? Did she punch herself? She might have done. I'm not putting up with this. I'm going to get the police. Oh, hang on. I don't think it's in anyone's interest to involve the police. It is if I get justice for my daughter. Don't the police already know about your daughter, Mr White? I'm just as shocked about this as you are. I've already told the teacher herself. If it's true, she has no future at Waterloo Road. Mr Lawson's collecting written statements from your daughter and from her friends, and we're interviewing Miss Qureshi directly after this. Well, it seems obvious to me she's done it. That's what they said about the Birmingham Six. I don't like your attitude, mate. Well, luckily, I'm conducting this investigation, and I promise you that I will get to the truth of what happened. You'd better. Have a read of these. Sit down, Jasmine. This won't take long. Naturally, we deny all the trumped-up allegations that the little scallywags brought. This is all a load of rubbish. But they have all said exactly the same thing. <laughs> exactly is the right word. She threw O-U-G-H. Through her... God help us, they've even spelt the same words wrong. She threw her arm right back and battered me. Battered Michaela. Michaela. Oh, look. 
All three exactly the same words, exactly the same construction. But there aren't too many ways to describe what happened. Nothing happened. They all chose battered. Why? Because they collaborated on it. Exactly. Constructing a little lie to ruin a teacher's career is almost a sport for them. I certainly wouldn't put it past them. Nor would I. Can't we look into this? Get them on their own, put the pressure on, they'll soon crack. No, we can't, Eddie. We won't do that. Look, we operate in a world, as you all know, where teacher's word equals the pupils. Mm. And we're paying the price for that every single working day. Oh, much as I don't like it myself, Granny, that is the way it is. Only we have got three pupils' words. I'm sure they wrote this all together, but unfortunately to the outside world, it's a significant indictment. She deserves to get chucked out anyway after what she said to me. Call me scum and everything. Yeah, she is a cow and I hate her. But she looks dead scared. Suppose she does lose a job over this, it's going to be our fault. She's a stupid school teacher. There's millions of schools she can go to, most of them nicer than this. Suppose we find out. What? That we've been lying our faces off. Well, the only way they're going to find out is if you tell them. And you know what will happen if you do. Jasmine, um, I'm suspending you with immediate effect. The, um, the terms of the suspension are explained fully in here. They require you to leave the premises and not to return until instructed to do so by me. And you remain on full pay. This is the last thing I thought I'd be doing. Well, don't do it. It sends out all the wrong signals to them out there. It's the worst day of my life. You know, I can't believe I'm being punished for something I didn't do. It's not about being found guilty. No one in this room thinks you are. It's only a week, just so that we can investigate this properly. Why that little gang of thugs isn't suspended too is beyond me. I have to agree with Grantley. Jasmine, this is a neutral position, yeah? It's a way of diffusing the situation. I know you must be feeling absolutely gutted, and I am really sorry. You're a very promising teacher. Oh. It's procedure. It's a complete farce. I've got to sort out a lesson plan for tomorrow. Just leave it, Jasmine. Grant will do it. My year nines are watching a DVD and I've got to set it up. We'll sort it. Nothing to worry about. As clear a case of false accusation as I've heard. I've got to go. I'll see you out. No, look, I'll be fine. Look, at least let me take you for a drink tonight. You're going to need one. Look, I don't want to take up any more of your time, Eddie. Don't be daft. We need to talk about how to deal with all this. Yeah, OK. That'd be great. Right. Poor kid. Right. Time for you to change hats, I guess. From the ridiculous to the downright bizarre. Mr. Lawson wants a little more structure to your dancing. Structure? What are you on about? Here we go, Matt. What the hell is she doing? <laughs> Strictly ballroom. As in the telly? Yep. Mr. Budgeon was a champion. Yeah. Was. You're having a G rough, sir. <laughs> and I can assure you, if I hadn't been forced into this, I wouldn't be here. The basic steps are very simple. 
Waltz time is three beats to the bar. A one, two, three, one, two. And then for the ladies, it's just the opposite, OK? So it's back on the left. And one, two, three, one, two, three. The waltz relies on 250 years of history. And unlike the break dance, it's a dance of communication. <laughs> Two people interpreting the same music, expressing their feelings through it, <laughs> body to body, face to face, soul to soul. <laughs> You mean as in coming over for a date? Actually, and don't laugh, we're going to try and do up Mum's bike. Well, romantic. Are you going to try and give Brett a second chance? Let's see how much he wants it first. Chloe, there might be hope for you and Dante and all right. Come on, everyone, round of applause. Well, we'll let you get on with writhing around the floor on your backs. Great dancing. Good dancing, my eye. It's well proper dancing. Not like that easy stuff you have done. One, two, three. One, two, three. So minging. Well, I think maybe the technical aspects are a little lost on you. After all, it's only 250 years of history. Oh, yeah. Well, break dancing's got loads of history as well. It's from New York, the Bronx. It was the DJs on street corners in the 70s that started it all off. I've done loads of research over the internet about it. 1970s. Bolton, I think what Mr Budge is trying to say is that it's not proper dancing. No way, man. For real, sir, there's loads of moves. There's head spin, backslide, six step. Bet you can do one single break dance move. <laughs> and you can do it to anything, sir. You can even do it to that load of pants. <laughs> Put it back on, Sash. Some of that. <laughs> uh, well, no, I uh, think you'll find that with all forms of modern music, the, the roots go back a lot further than 1970. I mean, breakdancing of sorts has been around for a lot longer than the waltz. Track five, please. <laughs> The LEA. Yeah, and if it goes against her, that's it. End of career. Our dinner arrangement? Yeah, uh, I wasn't expecting you quite so early. I thought we might have a couple of drinks first, and I know your teachers don't like to be out too late midweek. Must be really nice having someone look after you so well. Yeah, we're um, going through plans for the new construction. You're welcome to join us if you want. I've made other arrangements. 
Actually, Eddie, it'd be really great to get your view. But if you're too busy, then maybe you could put some ideas down in writing for me. I'll do that. Thank God he didn't accept my invitation. We're dining at the Langford. I thought I might choose somewhere quiet where we can talk. Well, I know you can afford it, given your generous contribution to the school funds. It's an investment in Waterloo Road and its young people. The girls, about tonight. Oh, I'm so sorry, Tom. I completely forgot about the pizza. Brett's going around tonight. Brett? Yeah, I don't get even anything into it. Well, that's good news. And what you were going to say? Wasn't anything to do with Devine there joining us, was it? She kind of manoeuvred me into it. So, what? You don't want her to come? Uh... Tom, stop worrying about what we think all the time. What you've done for us, well... It's just brilliant. And no, I won't be coming tonight. You two should spend some time together on your own. No, no. I'm not having that. I want you there. I mean it. I want you to get to know her. It's a competition, but uh, it's a great way of keeping fit, and uh, I'm telling you, in three weeks you'd have legs like steel rods. Grantly, I am not covering my legs in creosote and flashing me knickers, so forget it. No, that's Latin. This would be proper ballroom. You've got all the attributes, the deportment. How long have you known me, Grantly? You know I don't respond to flattery. Yeah, it's in two months, and Fleur's organising the over-45 section. Come on, we walk it. Over-45? Mwah! <laughs> Get stuffed, Grantly. First prize is a ten-minute supermarket trolley dash. Free entry. Ah. Dump pile of crap. Buy a new one. Too much money. Not sure problem. Oh, go on. A pair of his and hers matching mountain bikes. No! I'm supposed to be learning how to fix things. Sorry. What? Uh, nothing. It's just. Well then, how do we get this chain off? It's good food, huh? Look, Rachel, I'm not trying to justify what I did. No? Okay, maybe I am. The truth is, I don't like myself very much for what happened. And perhaps I am trying to find some kind of absolution, I don't know. And the blackmail, eh? Huh? Do we forget about that? Did that never happen? I wouldn't have done it if I didn't have to. I just needed to know that my bid was on the table. Look, I'll destroy any evidence that Tess has. Now, better still, I'll give it to you. I just need you to understand. You know what? I'd rather give the job up. I mean it. Just say the word. OK. OK, that's what we'll do. I'll get in touch with Mr Philby. Tell him there's been a question raised regarding the procurement procedure. Well, set us back about six months. We can cope with that. We need that facility up and running by next year. I'm aware of that. I just really 
really wish everything had been done in the proper way. What I did at that bidding meeting, it put me on a par with you. You had valuable information and you used it. You didn't seek it out, you didn't blackmail anyone. Philby made the final decision, not you. Slight change of plan. The spicy meatball is fantastic. All right. It's your idea. Uh, no, no, it was uh, Maker's, wasn't it, Flo? So what? We stay in and she goes out. <laughs> no. Uh, Mika, come and choose a pizza. She's in the kitchen with Brett. They've gone all green. She's uh, fixing up Izzy's old bike. Sorry. That was a bit rude of me. No, it wasn't. Don't worry about it. You can know she's just being stupid. So how's Jasmine? Not good. It's all around school that she smacked Michaela White one. Yeah, uh, so says Michaela. Well, she didn't. Everyone was like, go on, Miss Koreshi, give her a Glasgow kiss and all. Right. What are you having? <laughs> Jasmine, Eddie, if you're not here in half an hour, I'm coming to get you. <sighs> hey, whoa, 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 easy on that, you. You're not driving anywhere tonight, are you? No, but I am tomorrow. Yeah, well, we'll be walking everywhere if Mickey gets away. Mm. Which he usually does. Maybe, um, we should all get a pair of hiking boots. Please tell me you're not going to let her persuade you to dump your car. How do we get to school? On bikes? Oh, no, I don't want the girls on bikes. People get knocked off them. Right. I'm going up. See you later, yeah? Oh, and don't be too late. We've got school in the morning. Uh -oh. <laughs> Night, miss. Night. Are those two still fixing that wreck of a bike? One down, eh? Hmm. It's not as simple as that. Tom, as long as it takes. Right, back to cleaning the rust off these mud guards. Uh, I'll get the steel wool if you can find a spanner to. Uh... Take those nuts off. Brett, why are you here? To save the planet. This only taking apart. Find out what's clogging up the ring. But uh, give it a couple of months of weekends and after schools, and we should have it back on the road. Or you could just let me buy you a new one. Second hand, if you like. To show you how fantastic I think you are. How much I love you and... How sorry I am I hurt you. How can I make you believe me? Your commitment, I suppose. Well, you know you've got it. Good. So, we start cycling and walking everywhere, and then as soon as we can, we're going to take out Lawson's 4 by 4 I took the liberty. 20-year-old almanac. Thank you. Stuart, I mean this. You have got to be on site first thing tomorrow morning. My credibility's on the line. Good food. Good wine, good company. Open and honest business practices. Jasmine, I've been waiting here ages. I'm sorry. I've got you one of each just in case. 
You look like you could do with both of them. Oh, I'm never going to get over this. Have you told your mum and dad yet? Are you kidding? To die? I'm going to resign, Eddie. Oh, come on. No. I've been going over and over this in my head, and no matter how I look at it, they're going to find me guilty. Don't give up. None of the rest of us have. But you don't know what I know. <laughs> the truth is, I did overreact. I ran at them like a lunatic when I saw what they were doing to Shane. Something inside me just flipped. I knew what he was going through. Oh, I see. You were bullied at school. The opposite. I was a bully. Well, part of the bullies gang, like Angie and Sasha. Terrified to be bullied and just so grateful not to be. You know, we made a girl strip, tied her to a tree, and she was begging and sobbing for us to stop. Flame in hell. See, this is how I know that none of them are going to crack. Because then I'd have to face Michaela White. <laughs> and that's never going to happen. <laughs>